Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and for this video, we're going to give the customer the ability to add an item to a cart. So, what we need to do, uh, first, let me tell you what I want to do. Um, first, you should log in. Right now, I'm logged in because it says who I am. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Or actually, choose a movie, any movie. And when you scroll to the bottom of that, when a customer is logged in, I want to see the button that says Add to Cart. So, I'm in film.php because that's the page I was looking at, film.php. There's already code that tests to see if there's a staff person logged in, so I'm essentially just going to reuse that. See if there's a customer logged in. And add to cart. And add to your cart. And save that. Come back here, refresh it, and the button is there. And if you click it, it just takes you here through a post, and there'll be a film ID that we can use there. But before we can do anything, we need to right click on tables, create a table. We're going to create name this table film in cart, and we're going to name this column film in cart ID via big int. auto increment and we are going to have to have a film ID and a customer ID and a purchase date. I'm going to press this double up arrow so that we have more space to work. Uh, the film ID cannot be null, the customer ID cannot be null, and the film ID, this is going to reference another table, film table, I'm going to alter it, just so I can see what type this is, big, small int, so, that's what this should be, and the customer, this is going to reference the customer table, which is also small at 5. So come back here, change this to small at 5, and this right here will be a time stamp, which has a default value of null. And essentially, if a film is purchased, it has a timestamp. If a film is not purchased, it does not have a timestamp, or the timestamp is null, essentially. So if multiple films have the same timestamp, then they were purchased on the same receipt. They have the same receipt. Now this timestamp is going to be accurate to the second, so it's very unlikely that a person will purchase something at the exact same, two different receipts at the exact same second. Um, so that's what this is based on. Um, now I would add foreign keys and indices, but I couldn't get them to work. So let's just create this table. Look at the query and see that it's good. Apply it. Finish. See that the table is here now. Film in cart. So let's create a new web page. It's going to be completely functional. So we're going to use this folder. We're going to use our PHP folder and add to cart. And there's actually a few edits I wanted to make. I want to move the logout page to the PHP because that's also completely functional. Login. These all have views, but the logout did not. And we also need to go to the header. Should type slash tequila slash here. And now that we've moved our logout page we should go to PHP slash just minor changes so that we're a little bit more organized so back to here so when we come to this page we'll come to this page via a post because this form is being posted. So when we click this button, add to cart, 
click this button, add to cart, it'll post this form, this entire form, to that page, which has a field with the name film ID, which has the film ID as a value, so we can use that. So, first things first, let's get that film ID. See if the post film ID. We're definitely going to have a session. And we're going to see inval. So, this is a function called inval. It takes a string as an argument and it converts that string to a number as best it can and when that number is done we store it in this variable we're going to see if that number sorry is greater than zero pretty much if this function fails to parse the, the value it'll return zero and we want to make sure that the film ID is valid otherwise we won't add to the cart so, we're going to connect to the database, localhost, root, root, skilla, and we're going to store that connection in C. Before we forget, we're going to close that connection. We're going to prepare a statement. Prepare. And uh, just getting a little too far ahead of myself. Let's try to figure out what this statement is going to be. So we need to insert something. So insert into. We're going to insert a new. We're going to put a new item into our cart. So film in cart is what we're going to add to because we're going to put a film into our cart. So, therefore, we insert into this table to represent an insertion of a film into our cart. And we're going to specify a film ID, the film that's being inserted, and a custom ID, the person who's doing the inserting. And it's going to be variables. As always. And you want to set those variables first. And let's just kind of skip a step and just put them as question marks. Copy the first one. Stay here. Statement bind param. We're going to bind our PHP variables, which both of them are integers. We're going to bind our two integers going to be a customer ID which we get from the session. That's the whole reason we started it. That's going to be customer. We should also see if there's a customer logged in. And make sure we session commit. And we're going to bind the film ID and the customer ID. And then we're going to exec statement execute. And then we're going to statement close. Okay. This is pretty simple, just a simple insert. No big deal do a simple insert you just need to say just as always MySQL query give it the connection give it the query and we already set up the variables save it let's take a look at MySQL workbench let's view this see there's nothing in this table I'm going to click add to cart see there's a blank page we'll fix that later 
refresh and is it inserting the right thing? So insert a film ID 10. So let's go back. Film ID 10. We're logged in as Mary, which is ID 1. So it worked. And I don't want a person just clicking on this and sitting on this page. So what we're going to do is uh, header location. The slash, which means go up a folder, film.php, and what do I use as an identifier? ID. I know that I use ID because that's what I use here. I want to just send them right back to the same film page they came from. Equals dollar film ID. Okay. So that when I click this, it'll take me right back to this page at the very top. And at this point, I should have three things in my database. Okay, so I inserted the same movie three times, and I have not purchased those movies. So that's adding to a cart. You can try logging in as other people, adding other films. Um, we're not able to check things out at the moment, but that'll be the next video. Uh, I'm Logan Murphy and I'll see you next time.